And here is tonight's tale of the tape. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Mehdi Chalhan. And now introducing our opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Jermaine the Iron Lady. Ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, ready to go here. Round one. At one point, Caesar Gracie called her the female Anderson Silva. Jermaine Durandamy, power in all limbs. We'll see if she gets off to a good start tonight. Oh, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kicks back to back. Two of it's up the target. Sight to goal. Good kick. Her opponent's in a world of trouble. She landed that punch in the exact spot that she needed. I've never seen anything like that. Chassis. Just over three minutes to go. Give me those hard kicks. Hard kicks. You cannot take those leg kicks clean like that. Well, her striking has been great tonight. Rocked her opponent pretty significantly, but you gotta think there's a little bit of disappointment that she wasn't able to get. She should be disappointed that she didn't finish the fight. This would look like it was over. If she gets this opportunity again, she needs to go all out to try to finish the fight. Chasson's limping pretty seriously right now. It was that last kick to the right leg that appeared to cause her the problems. We'll keep an eye on that storyline as the fight continues. Oh, nice takedown defense. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. While working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Durant. While well, we're becoming a broken record, another ground strike landed by her there. In the clinch, Durandam, he's looking to pass out of the half guard and attain side control here, but unable to do so. Trying to stay heavy here as best she can. Oh, nice hammer fist there by Chasson. Oh, she's in trouble, dude. Chasson's back in half guard. That's a powerful strike from bottom position. She is so dominant from the top position. DC, I know you got my back. She's got her back, and she can do a lot of damage from here. I've got your back as not your boy, J.A. She's got her back as if she wants to end her night right now. She's got to be very careful. Seconds winding down in the opening round. Man, these ground strikes by her are really starting to take their toll. Round two straight ahead. All right, so she survives to hear the final horn. What a round it was. And, of course, that knockdown midway through nearly got her out of there. Almost got her the finish, but now she needs to reset. Get ready to go back forward and try and secure a finish without forcing anything. It's very key that she does not get greedy. Go back and sit down at the table. Let it be said. Be patient. Have the first course. Have the second course. And on the third course, the main course, find your finish. All right, so a huge moment for her in that previous round, DC, as we show you some of the highlights. The knockdown nearly closed the show for her. Yeah, and that's what we're going to focus on. We're going to focus on the knockdown because it looked Ready, like the fight was over. Ready. Now, is her opponent Go. tough? Yes. But is her opponent smart enough to make the necessary adjustment as this fight goes forward? She lands a huge leg kick. Three, two, three. Oh, nice jab by Chasson. Oh, can't put any weight on it. Put your hands up higher. Come on. 
Big right hook attempt, but she misses. Nice crack there. Just misses with a left hook there. Oh, she's got a roundhouse kick in the Arsenal DC, and she put it to good use there. I mean, landed that kick beautifully. The only reason she didn't spin all the way around is because her opponent's body stopped it because she landed with so much more. Oh, nice job to block that punch. Just over three minutes to go now. Changes her stance. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm and range. Chassaw gets hit with a kick. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked behind the Anderson Silva situation. Just misses there with the left. Chasson gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. He's had a huge strike right there, DC. Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off to finish the fight. with the kick. Man, there it is again. She talked a lot in our fighter meeting about that jab as a big weapon in this matchup and used it to great effect there. She said she was going to use it, and she has done that. She has done that from the very start of the fight. Fight behind the jab. So many mixed martial artists now are dictating fights with the jab. It's been fun to watch. Oh, huge connection fire there. Massive shot, man. How's she going to try to find the next shot that'll finish the fight? Right here, you gotta empty the gas tank, John. You gotta just go forward and let everything fly. All right, so just as we start. Oh! She's getting up, yep. And now she counters with a right hook to the head. Good round. All right, there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and what a round it was for her. We talked about her power off the top of the show. And she certainly put it on full display there. Power is what identifies her. She got her hands going, was able to land a big shot, got the knockdown, didn't get the finish. But if she's patient, sets everything up again, maybe she'll find the finish in this round. Caution, flammable. That horn signifies the end of the round. And quite frankly, after that knockdown with a head kick, I didn't think we'd get here. It's a merciful horn. We're happy to hear the horn because she was getting brutalized. She was getting beat up to the body. But the big moment was when her opponent took the kick high and knocked her down. You ready to fight? You ready? Third you round underway. Can you believe she is able to keep up this output just as she did in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes here and not slowing down whatsoever? She looks like she could go 10 hard fives if need be tonight. Ah, uh, not a good visual there. You can see she can put some pressure on that lead leg, but she's starting to limp, man. She's starting to limp. She's been beat up. Her opponent had a game plan, an idea that that would be something that would be available to her. She was able to get to it early, and now she's continuing to do it, and now it's showing in the work that she's done. Straight punch, nice land for the offense there. Don't back up, push forward. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh, look at that inside leg kick. She grabs the whole round. She hurt her very badly with that big leg kick. Well, 
she keeps prioritizing that calf kick, and now her opponent's calf started to show signs of bruising. She just took him. She had to check him before he started to accumulate. She's starting to really struggle with that calf. Well, this has been a fight that has had it all, and we are going down the stretch, my friend. Down to the wire. You would not have wanted anything more as a fan. This has been a great fight, a great story from the very moment the official said fight. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Takedown defense is there. She does a great job breaking that clinch position. She blocked the punch. A commitment to excellence. She finally gets this fight to the ground after many failed attempts. She was not discouraged. Now she has this fight exactly where she wants it. Nice positional control here. She's stepping over the ball here. And plenty of time with which to work. 30 seconds to go in the round. Lands the ground and pound strike. Final 10 seconds of the fight. Oh, another strike lands from the top. And that is how you end a fight. All right, so the fighters go the distance here tonight, and she really put it all together on the feet as we show you some of the highlights from the fight. It's all come full circle for this young lady. She said on Thursday that we would see a better version of her than we did the last time she was in the octagon. I will take that a step further and say that this is the best we've ever seen. She should win a pretty clear decision. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score the contest. 29-28. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision... Macy Chelsea! All right, so no surprise as the judges' scorecards are rendered and ultimately read there by Bruce Buffer. Just a tremendous performance for her here tonight as she mixed it up over arguably the best kickboxer in this division. You can be the best kickboxer, but you got to be able to do everything. And she showed that there are levels and that you have to have every skill. If you don't, you're going to get overwhelmed. And tonight, she was 